This is all part of the survival fun. Boiling water and then filtering the water. This is to get rid of the sediment. And I'm just using a couple coffee filters and it does a pretty good job. That's how I'm getting fresh water. Fun, fun, fun. Well, tonight we'll actually mark one entire week of being trapped. And I'll give you an update. I have made it partly out, but I'm still trapped. If you notice here, that's the sign for Deer and Hicks Lake. And I managed to get that six kilometers um, to get this far. And I had to drive through a washed out creek and, oh boy, there was uh, trees down on the road. Now I noticed somebody managed to hike in and actually officially say the uh, park was closed, but the gates are open because they assume I'm still in here. But it's actually closed. Now I know a few of you have, have uh, noticed on the maps that there's other roads around here. Yes, there are. <laughs> this is a logging road that's in very bad shape now that goes many miles up Harrison Lake, but it doesn't really go anywhere to connect with the rest of the highway system so that doesn't help me so if you look way yonder down there that's where the RV is parked at the moment and I'll tell you what I'm doing so last night I had uh, some friends meet me near the washout and then I discovered that Rockwell Road is now open but the uh, creek uh, or river, I don't know what you want to call it, that feeds from Trout Lake had to be diverted back to its proper stream. So the road is still out from the junction. So I'm still trapped here. So I'm about a kilometer from where they're working on it. And I had to hike through the forest to get supplies in. And it's uh, through a little valley, but I got to climb and there's no real defined um, trail so it was pretty rough especially in complete darkness with a flashlight so I did I did trip and fall twice but so I left some of the supplies with a local uh, at a house on the other side and I'll be slowly bringing up the supplies there's rumors that I might be out of here by Tuesday or Wednesday but I don't like to believe in rumors so <laughs> Seeing is believing for me. And in the meantime, I'm running the generator, <laughs> enjoying the soggy weather, but I guess I could get underneath the awning so I don't get my camera wet. Yeah, why get wet? That's why they built awnings. <laughs> but um, I'll give you a recap of what happened over the course of the week. On Saturday afternoon, a ranger hiked in and announced that we were officially trapped. <laughs> that was fun. So he gave me a phone number or two to call, which I did. And by day two, uh, there are some tenters that were parked with me. I'll show pictures of, uh, of all these people as I'm telling the story. And uh, they left on Sunday, but they managed to get me out to where the road was washed out and search and rescue, uh, Kent Search and Rescue, you wonderful people, I'm going to be giving a donation to you guys, uh, took a boat and brought it up to the boat launch and met me with 40 liters of fuel. Thank you so much. And uh, that 40 liters of fuel is sure helping. Now, it's not going to last forever, so I've got 20 more liters waiting for me uh, down there. Um, so they also gave me a ride back in their four-wheel drive. Then they drove back to the wash and left their vehicle and had somebody pick them up and they were gone. So it was just me here. And, uh, and Monday wasn't bad, Tuesday wasn't bad, then the snow came Wednesday and uh, then it's melted. Snow kind of comes and goes. Oh, I'm hearing some birdies out in the uh, forest, very nice. So, I'm still waiting for them to finish construction of that last little segment. 
and then I can get out of here. So in a couple hours I'm going to scoot the RV down to the end of the road where it's washed out and see if they've got enough of it constructed that I can walk through to bring my supplies in without having to go through the forest because that's a tough grind carrying stuff. But if I have to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> So that is what is going on here. Um, hmm. But my internet still works just in this little area. That's why I'm parked here. I can barely get a signal. But I figured it was important so I don't go stir crazy at night so I can uh, watch YouTube and the like. I can actually hear an, I can actually hear an aircraft above me. Woo! Civilization. <laughs> So that's about it from here, near Harrison Hot Springs. Line screw one still stranded. I'll be entering week number two in the morning, and we'll see what happens. In the meantime, folks, like I always say, keep your wheels aground and stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.